एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Do you know how Google Maps represent the long distances in their maps? I'll tell you the procedure. Hello everyone, I am Anmol Bhatia and I'll be uh, teaching you the concept of scales in engineering graphics. If you want to know the detailed description about the topic, you can refer to the book by S Chand Publishing. The link is there in the description box below. So let's start with the topic. Uh, the topic is scales and it is my lecture three of the series. The module that we are covering in this uh, course is module number one and this is introduction to engineering drawing and in this module we have already covered these two topics namely the principles of engineering graphics and the conic section part. Now in this module we will be studying about the scales section. So what is a scale? Uh, in my previous video I have talked about the long graphical drawings and the short graphical drawings. If your basically if your object is large so we need to reduce down the length of the object and represent that shorter image in the scale. So for that we would be using a reducing scale and if let's say if you want to represent or you want to draw certain chips or let's say ICs so for that we want to enlarge the size of that object so for that we would be using the enlarging scale. So here we had two different types of scales one is the reducing scale and another is enlarging scale that I have talked about. We would be using certain formulas here so let us have a look at those formulas. These formulas are related to the concept that uh, I would be telling which is the scale part. In this you will be having one case which is the RF factor which is the representing factor and that would be equal to the length or the dimension on the drawing divided by the dimensions on the object. Additionally if you have the area of the drawing so square root will come in that ratio. And if you have the volume, so volume ratio, for that volume ratio, cube root will occur. And we also want to calculate the length of the scale there. So length of the scale would be RF, which is this representative factor multiplied by maximum length that we want to measure. Now, according to the syllabus prescribed by UGC or prescribed by AICT, we have three different recommended scales that the students may learn. And these scales would be plane scale, diagonal scale and vernier scale. So if we want to uh, represent the dimensions up to the single decimal point, we can use this plane scale representation. And if we want to represent the dimensions up to two dimensions, we use the diagonal scale. And similar for the two dimension case or the two decimal case, we can use this vernier scale. Let's say we want to represent, let's say, 2.2 kilometers. So for that plane scale will do. If you want to represent the dimensions like 2.22, then these diagonal scale or vernier scale will work. Now let us understand the plane scale situation with the help of an example. So let's say we have this example and the example says that we want to draw a scale in which 1 centimeter equals to 1 meter. Right? And that reads decimeters and it measures up to 6 meters and we want to show that distance 4 meter and 6 decimeter on the scale. That means if this decimeter representation is there that means we are reading up to one decimal place. So for that we will be using the plane scale situation. Now in order to draw this plane scale we have a set procedure and we have certain steps for this. So. Uh, the question or the statement, I have written the same statement here in which 1 centimeter equals to 1 meter. So for that we would be calculating RF value as step 1. So RF would be equal to dimensions of the drawing over the dimensions of the object. 
So dimensions of the drawing is 1 centimeter. That means on the drawing we want to represent 1 centimeter as 1 meter. So 1 centimeter would be this dimension on the drawing and the dimensions of the object is 1 meter. I will convert this 1 meter into centimeter. I will get 1 by 100 as my RF value. So RF value is 1 by 100. Coming to the length of the scale that I want to calculate. So that would be RF multiplied by the maximum distance. The formula I have told you in the previous slide. So 1 by 100 multiplied by 600 that will give me the result as 6 centimeters. So that means in my step 1 I have calculated a maximum distance which is 6 centimeter that is to be represented on the scale. Now what next how to draw this scale. So for this I have told you that the maximum distance that we want to represent here is 6 centimeter. So we'll be drawing a line of 6 centimeter. So here you can see that I have drawn a line of 6 centimeter and I would be dividing that into 6 equal parts. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. 6 equal parts I have divided the line. Then what happens? Uh, I need to subdivide the first part which is this part. So what happens here? I would be representing it like this. I will represent it from 0. I will keep some gap for this part and I will represent here from 0. So 0 to 5 is the 5 meter representation because 1 centimeter equals to 1 meter. So this is 5 meters and one more additional part is 1 meter here. So in total it would be 6 meters. So the total scale would be 6 meter scale and here I would be dividing this section into 10 equal divisions. So right from here, from this 0, I will be dividing it into 10 equal divisions that denotes the decimeter scale. So here this portion denotes the meter scale, this denotes the decimeter scale. Now coming to the next part of this, when I divided this into 10 equal divisions, in order to uh, give it a look of a scale, I have drawn a rectangle around it and the measurement of the height of that rectangle is around 5 to 10 mm. So 5 to 10 mm is the height of the scale and that is uh, there in order to give it a look of the scale. Now the next thing is, uh, the next step is to indicate that RF value and the plane where that shows meter and decimeters within the scale. So meter is represented here, the decimeter scale is represented here and ultimately the overall RF value and the plane scale is represented. Now what next? In order to show the distance part, what, what do I do or what is to be done? You can see that we have the meter division and we have the decimeter division. So in order to indicate 4 meter and 6 decimeter. So what should we do? 4 meter is this value from 0 to 4 is this division that indicates 4 meters and right from here you have 6 decimeters. So decimeters is to be counted from this decimeter scale. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 this indicates what the decimeter part. So 4 meter here and 6 decimeter on this side. So this overall indicates 4 meter 6 decimeters. So the large distance which is 1 meter is represented in centimeters that answers to the query which was there in the initial part of the video. Now we come to the end of the first part of the video. If you want to know the detailed description about the topic, you can refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing. The link is there in the description box below. If you find the video interesting, uh, like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you very much. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.